Hey, howdy, hey everybody, Serbo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the new Dream Snaps theme and gather some inspiration and some ideas and also share some tips and tricks for it. That way you may have an idea of what you could be doing because the theme is actually pretty simple this week, but uh, I just like to look at everyone's submissions early. So uh, let's get right into it. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if we get enough people to like this video, maybe it'll finally stop of downpouring every single day, and we'll actually get a pretty decent looking intro. But let's jump right over into Discord. Alrighty, so I have not looked at these at all yet. I'm actually really excited to take a look. Uh, so the theme right here is a day at Disney. So it's an outfit challenge and it says, what would you wear when visiting a Disney park? So the tags are cute and playful. So pretty easy and then hats, gloves and wonder. So pretty much uh, and just an outfit for a day at Disney. So pretty simple. First, we have a princess star butterfly. And this is why I love you guys. <laughs> like the, the challenge is literally just an outfit for a day at Disney. And then you guys come up with the most creative things I've ever seen. They have designed an indoor roller coaster. I never would have thought to do this. They have like the little tangled hanging chair here. And then they did like the little um, empty beds right here. This is so cute. <laughs> they got the whole room decked out like Lion King theme. This is adorable. They have their outfit. Again, getting those high tags on your outfit will always be, it'll always benefit you. Their character is like floating on the chair. So I guess they had to, oh, they had to like use the squirrel pose to make it look like they're sitting in the chair. That is awesome. But yeah, you guys are just amazing for real. Okay, we have Mira right here. Whoa, this is a beautiful. Dang, this is kind of like my setup. I I have um, this on different sides though. I have Dumbo on this side and the cup here, and then my Ferris wheels in the middle. But I really like the symmetry of this one. And then they have it leading up to the palace. The sky is beautiful. Look at the different colors of purples and stuff. Wow, I'm blown away by this. We got Sarah B putting to use the new illuminating flowers. These are just such a good thing to add. Oh my gosh, look at the fairy godmother over here. They caught her like mid doing her little wand twirl. Then they have the little new castle, the one that shoots the fireworks way off in the back. It's kind of blurred out, so that looks cute. We got Mickey here. They included an ice, an ice cream stand would be really good. I'm not gonna lie. Sarah, you just gave me a great idea. I'm going to include that in mine because I have a spot that's perfect for it. And um, yeah, I definitely got to put the ice cream. I forgot that thing was even a thing. We got Eric over here. Eric is just good luck for some reason. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of him, but he's starting to grow on me because every time I include him, he's been giving me like 4,000 Moonstone. So I might have to include him in there as well. We have Kim Possible with a very beautiful submission. Dang. Oh, I can add this to the whole little um, water fountain. I use that for my aerial theme, like under the sea. And it could definitely work for this one too, especially in the beginning, like where my archway is. And of course this, it's a must. Like the Mickey water tower is such a good item for this. Having it like way in the back, it looks really nice. I have it included in mine. We got vine wall over here to box it in and kind of frame their photo. Donald and Mickey, the little monkey, their outfit is super adorable. Uh, it definitely looks like some casual wear. Yeah, this is amazing. We got Ken here. Ken does amazing submissions every week. Look how incredible they managed to get Mickey and Minnie waving at each other and then even included Donald right here. And it's really cool because they also included the statue back here that has all three of them in there and then all three are right here. The outfit's nice. I love the foreground. I love how they framed their photo with the fountains. The sky is beautiful. Whoa, they even included the new Eternity Isle tree. Okay, so that is, yeah, I could include some of the new trees too. I keep forgetting that we have a Rift in Time, or at least, you know, we have the option to get it. And including other things like that, they got the Cherry Blossom trees. The Ferris wheel just seems to work really well for this theme. Like, if you do have it, which is a shame, I know not everybody has it. I'm hoping they bring back at least a different version of it, kind of like they did with the Palace. I'm hoping they do that, you know, for the players that miss these amusement rides. That way they can um, also have some amusement rides because those are some of the coolest pieces in the game. Okay, Nolan is going with a pretty bold move just because I think there's a lot of people that don't like Gaston. But 
let's be honest how many videos on the internet have you seen with gaston like he's he's such a cool character in actual like disney world like the actors that they get to play them they just make the experience so much better <laughs> and them including that i think is just a really awesome thing for them to do look at how many characters they have in here it's like the whole theme park is just full like they fill up the whole picture but it is an outfit challenge so they also left this area right here empty we have Woody. Look how close Woody is in the picture. We got Stitch, Buzz, Wally looking at Buzz is the cutest thing. Uh, Mickey's looking a little... I don't know what face he's making, but look at all the characters they included. This has got to be a rank one submission or top 10 at least, just because the amount of detail and stuff. I'm blown away by this one, like for real. I love how they included a little pig. Um, the outfit's really cool. I don't think I've seen too many people go with uh, that combination there. So I think they're going to do very well on this. Oh, we have uh, Pip and Me. And they have a lot of glow going on here. They got some candles right here for more lights. This is like set up in... I th it's almost like a heart. And then they, they filled it in with some non-like glowing, non-illuminating flowers. They got a lot of color going on in the background too. They included double stacked the uh the ride and this like centerpiece here they filled up every single inch of their photo and then left a little bit of sky there peeking through this has got to be top 10 too you guys are so freaking good what the heck competition's getting tough you guys are just literally every week just getting better and better and it's showing oh we got cricket going a different take a day at disney under the sea ride wall oh, i hope you don't get robbed on this one because this is a perfection literally i hope you get the rank that you deserve because like even the fence look at the fence you added this was i think they also just added this with the recent update we have eric's castle they got the shipwreck the outfit the alligator or the crocodile just so much nature and stuff going on there this is like the perfect setup you haven't managed to capture a little bit of a mickey cloud back here you better not get robbed we're gonna recheck this one next week oh my gosh we have lehman b and look at all the sparkles they have going on in this photo. How did... Oh, that's the little glimmer pieces. What, okay, I'm including that too. I'm still <laughs> taking that idea. They have the little glimmer that you can get through treasure hunting in the different realms. And if you place it down, it has like a little rainbow color and it has lots of sparkles. But if you include it back there, or you kind of drop it in between some other forageables. It just creates a lot of sparkles. And I think that's what could actually improve my photo and give it that wow factor. Because when I'm scrolling, all these lights from the windows and then these little sparkles are just like, they hit you. And let's be honest, is that not the cutest outfit we've ever seen? Imagine going to Disney looking like that. That is adorable. They included the snake too. They somehow made the snake look really beautiful. Top 10. <laughs> I say that about all of them, but top 10. We got lovely Lillian here with a really cute submission. I love how they have their whole like um, amusement area set up with different pathing and uh, multiple different pathings here. It is a little more like open, which is really nice. I think most of them, I think most theme parks are pretty open like this. And then it's like pretty heavily de um, decorated where they need it to be. So this is super cute. I see they got the amusement rides. They even included the Ferris wheel way back there. I see Goofy's house. The outfit's super cute. This is beautiful. We got Alexandra here showing off their outfit. It looks like, you know, from this angle. And I, is that a necklace or is that part of the shirt? Like the little black oval like circle. It looks like you're wearing an Eve shirt, and I think that is amazing. I don't know how you did that. I, mean, I think it looks like it's just a necklace, and then I don't ever remember seeing that top or that shirt, though. Oh, wait. Is that the new Eve friendship item? I think it is now. Okay, that's super cute because I didn't even think about that, so I think that's going to pull a lot of votes. I love your nice little seating area here, and you match it up with your white raccoon. Super cute. We have Baby here. I'm happy with how this came out. I know it's a risky to do it from behind because it's an outfit challenge. But you know what? I'm keeping it. Somehow picks from the back are often more aesthetic to me in general. I uh, completely agree with you on that. I always think that it's really risky to do these. But time and time again, I see people placing very, very high 
with it it does give it that aesthetic feel and i think with all the different lights you have you also have like a darker tone but it's like really bright too so you definitely have like the darkness factor but that kind of just helps make everything else pop i love the little spiral back piece that you have goofy over here now this this submission is amazing we got laffy taffy here let's take a closer look at their submission oh that's a super cute outfit too they're using the whole like dream jacket that we just got uh, loving all the sparkles. What are they using is to create all of these sparkles? Is that from the dreamlight tree? I think it no cuz how would they include it here if it's on the stairs? I'm not sure but I'm I'm in love with it and then the little pillars right here are a good touch I'm loving all the little butterflies they got here. The monkey's face is so funny This is cool and look how blurred out the background is and it really like puts more emphasis on the actual character and like the challenge at hand we have Candy Rose over here. Today was fun. Uh, they have a nice outfit. They got Jack Skellington over here. The little Tinker Bell. Oh, they probably didn't have enough Moonstones at the time, but the Tinker Bell wings would have been perfect for this outfit too, because they got like the matching hair, the Tinker Bell shirt. Um, I love this though. It's set up cute. The monkey seems to be a very popular option this week. And I'm sorry if I didn't get to your submission. As you guys can see, there are so many beautiful submissions made up uh, already. Like, look at Bored and Dangerous over here. They have a whole room set up. We got Cosmic Source Studio. Uh, Joseph Wilson with, like, a perfect setup. It just goes on and on. These submissions are really beautiful. Xander's looks amazing. Uh, like, all that's lovely. Hers looks perfect. We have A Day at Disney. There's this set, a Raven is set up over in the new biome. These are just incredible. There's so many lights and colors. It seems like that's something that's really working this week and a lot of people are using is lots of lights, lots of colors, and lots of sparkles. And, uh, oh, look at Wilma's right here. They got like all the purples and blues. Oh, this is set up over in the new area. Dang, now I'm reconsidering if I should use my old setup from House of Mouse or if I should bring stuff over here to Eternity Isle because it just looks really beautiful. Look at the castle way in the background. Okay, I might have to change some things. I, actually, you know what? I probably will. I may completely scrap my House of Mouse and do something completely different over here. Wilma, you have inspired me because this is beautiful. And our very last one, since we have one new post, let's take a look at it. Let's go to the top and see whose it is. It's Queen Shiva. Oh, they need help. So you might actually want to uh, add this over here to Snap a Boost. Because, um, yeah, our Snap Mentors will help you with that. But let's take a look. They said, I only ever get 900 Moonstones. Oh, I like that you included all the little figurines here. Your tags seem pretty high. You have eight and nine. Um, honestly, I think this looks perfect because you have all this stuff here. You have the castle in the background. You have all the trees, all the decorations. I think yours is uh, set up perfectly. The only thing I could advice I could give you is to fix this area here. Put some flowers maybe in the foreground. You can kind of look through here, see how a lot of people are, if that's something you're interested in. Because you have so much perfect like stuff going on right here. If you just put it filled in this area over here with something, um, add more pathing, maybe add a fence going this way, maybe add a fountain over here, and then maybe put something in the foreground, some flowers, some little beds, kind of like you have over here, and then fix this corner right here to have it a little more full too. I think you nailed it. I think you would get your 4,000 because what you have already, I think is worth 4,000. But if you're asking for help, that's probably the only thing I could see that you could change is to fix those very small areas that are a little more open. But the figurines right here are a genius idea to include in the submissions. I haven't seen anyone do that, so amazing job. And again, it is an outfit challenge, so your outfit is set up perfectly. You have high tags, and uh, I think I think you do a great job. I really do. And that's it for the video. It looks like it is still <laughs> raining in my valley. Look at my little Mickey cloud. They're so cute. I've kind of noticed that the way the clouds go is they go in like a circle around the whole valley. Like they just move in a line. So it's like, it like rotates completely. So to get a Mickey cloud, you pretty much just have to wait for it to do that. Uh, some more tips I could give you for this week is to make it bright because a day at Disney, Disney is all about color, right? So you could definitely have it at nighttime, but have some stuff that really pops, have some lights and stuff. 
and then if you're doing a daytime you don't have as many lights on your things but it looks really beautiful too so lighting is always good um lots of little greenery some features kind of like the fountain tile here lots of shiny things and then it is an outfit challenge so make sure you get a nice casual looking outfit try to get your tags as high as you can and I think we'll uh, be golden this week. This week should be pretty easy. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have the best day and good luck with your dream steps. I'll see you in the next one.